Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over making a print-friendly version of our web page. Okay, so we're working on our River Arts Cafe small business website, and we've got everything done for the desktop version, but we also want to have a print-friendly version. Now, I'm going off some original uh, directions, and it was part of the plan to have a print-friendly version of this page so we don't get unnecessary information. In fact, we get some necessary information. So the print version is going to have a map display, which is not part of the normal desktop website. So let's go ahead and take care of that, and I think you're going to find it's all pretty easy. So I'm going to head back over to my editor, and I'm going to jump over to the HTML side of things because I'm going to create another link tag. So I'm going to do a copy and a paste, but this is going to be our small cafe print.css. Now the first CSS is going to be media equals screen, whereas this last one is going to be media equals print. The screen version styles and the print version styles. Now there's a couple ways we can work with another style sheet and this is the way we're going to do it. When we do the mobile friendly version you'll see the other way that we can tackle this issue. Okay, now since we're doing two style sheets this actually kind of makes our makes our work kind of easy. I'm going to go ahead and go to my main styles. This is my screen styles. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to copy everything. Go to a new file and paste. So I've got a duplicate of my screen version styles. Let me go ahead and save this. I'm saving it into my style subfolder and this one is called small cafe print. So I'm going to have my print friendly style sheet. Now before I go and do any uh, changes here, let me save that HTML file, I do want you to see kind of how it looks in print before we do anything. So right now my print version CSS is identical to my screen version CSS. So if I go back to the browser, there we go, and refresh, no change, and let's go to file print preview, we can see that yeah it's going to print just like you would expect. And of course background images don't print, so we've got this big dead space. We've got a navigation menu that's useless. So we've got a pretty um, inefficient web page. So let's go ahead and make some changes to it. I'm going to close that. Head back over to my print friendly style sheet. And once you've got that print version style sheet, you just go through and you make changes as necessary. So we'll tackle the map image in just a moment, but let's go ahead and handle some of the big stuff. Now for our print, oh, let's make sure I'm on the right style sheet too. So our print version style sheet. Our print version, we don't need a reset rule, so I can get rid of that. Reset rule is for browsers. Now the next thing, things like background colors. I'm not too concerned about background colors, so I'm going to get rid of the background color and I'm going to change the font to a Times New Roman. Now my container, I don't need to be so specific with this, okay? So I can take out this entire rule. Now the header, um, in theory I could delete this out, the background color is not going to be a factor, but um, I'll go ahead and leave it in for now just so you can see we don't have to delete everything. Now for my navigation, for the most part I'm going to get rid of all of this, but what I want to do with navigation is I'm going to display none. When a user prints out this web page, the entire navigation menu is not going to display. The header one, I'm still pretty content with it. However, I don't want um, no need for a text shadow, no need for it to clear right since the thing that it was clearing is gone. The margins aren't too critical now. I'll just do maybe 50 pixels on all sides. That's pretty extreme, maybe 20 pixels on all sides. So we'll take care of a little bit of that. The main content. So the main content doesn't need any of this information we could actually delete this whole rule. There's no need for background information, no need for minimum height. Ah, here we go. So we have the, the image in the main paragraph. Now if you recall back in our HTML, the image in our main paragraph is actually this food image. So I wasn't specific enough because now I want to add a, um, a map image. And actually I can still do that. I can put my map image right down here. So, in fact, I'll just go ahead and copy that image tag real quick. Let's try this. Map1.png 
map, I'll call it map image. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now it's going to look kind of weird because I'm going to have to go back to my other CSS file and correct something. But let me save this for a moment just so you can see what's going to happen. I'm going to head back over to my browser and refresh. You're going to notice that map image pop up. And there it is. Well, we do not want the map image to show up on the desktop version. So I'm going to go ahead and remedy that by going back to my code, back to my screen CSS. This is my screen version CSS, and I'll take care of this somewhere up here. My map image for the screen version is display none. Okay, so I'm going to hide that map on the computer screen, even though the HTML for the map is there. Head back over to the browser, refresh, so our desktop version is kind of back to where we would expect. Okay, how's the print version looking so far? Print preview, and there we go. Navigation menu is gone, and we've got a few other changes, so we'll keep working on this in the next video.